And welcome back guys to the next episode of Straight Six Auto Parts. As always, we're here, beautiful California. So today on the lot we have almost two identical cars but different. 2013 BMW 335 F30 body style sport line. 2015 BMW 335 F30 the same body style but M Sport package. Let's see what kind of difference they have. Sport line versus the M Sport package. Before we'll get started, uh, this car we bought a while ago and it's our kind of project car. Uh, we put a lot of M3 stuff on it. We still can see the difference compared to the Sportline version. And this car came to us just recently from Bakersfield. So let's go and see what's the difference. Yes, first thing I have to say sorry guys, front bumper, unfortunately it's missing on this car but the bumper is different Sportline versus M Sport package. M Sport package has like the bigger cutouts in, and usually doesn't come with the fog lights and it's more aggressive look. Then headlights absolutely the same. It can be also LED version and also halogen version, but this one is just uh, Xenon. Hood is the same, fenders are the same, mirrors all the same. The difference only mirrors base of the mirrors it can be both black and this one matte also this trim above the windows above the doors this one is matte this one is glossy black so the next thing is side skirts on m sport package they a little bit wider as well on on a, a sport line it's just a flat m sport is wider brakes here we have upgraded brakes from f80 m3 and usually on f30 doesn't matter if it can be sport line or M Sport package or just the base version. If it's the 335, it's gonna ha have that type of brakes or also it can be painted in uh, blue color or red color. Let's go on the back and we'll see what's the difference on the back as well. Rear bumper is different as well. This one doesn't have like the diffuser, this one does. Yes, this car is like, has a lot of parts that's been installed such as the tail lights, spoiler, it's all aftermarket, those tips. So basically exhaust, tail lights, everything is the same except of the rear bumper. So rear bumper is only one difference on the back, M Sport versus M Sport line. Let's get inside. So on M Sport package, we have M Sport door seals. And on a Sport line, we have just a BMW Sport line. That's what we have. The other difference is the trim. This one comes with the red line, in here if that would be m sport package then it would be blue but on this car we have already from f80 m3 so it's carbon fiber with black thing next seats on this car we have f80 seats and actually m sport package or s sport like the sport line doesn't matter seats are gonna be the same that's the stock seats from uh, for all 335s not actually for all of them it can be like the flat version of it so this is the sport version already. The next difference is the steering wheel. Steering wheel on this one is just a regular one. On M Sport package, we have this style steering wheel with the small airbag. This steering wheel from M3 with the blue and red stitching, but M Sport steering wheel is almost the same. It doesn't have that uh, stitching and it's just a flat piece in here. Also on 
sport line and uh, m sport package the headliner is usually black on baseline the headliner is just gray or it can be tan if you have tan interior to summarize sport line versus m sport package we have different front bumper different side skirt different rear bumper different door seals different steering wheel different wheels different interior trim and i think that's gonna be it so seven items that's difference there is no difference power wise the power is absolutely the same doesn't matter if it can be baseline or it can be m sport package no difference whatsoever unless you have bmw performance kit installed as we have on this car so let's take this m sport package a little bit on the side so it's not going to be bothering us it's our project car we will not part it out i hope so i, I hope we will not part it out and this one 335 port line with performance kit installed we will probably take it apart today so let's uh, go over the condition of the car then we will take it inside and start doing that let's go getting back to our sport line so we have some damage at the bottom in here intercooler has been damaged and that's why we have missing front bumper in here the bottom of it is it was probably damaged as well but, but we still have the upper portion of the front bumper it's still front bumper so then we have some kind of i don't know if it's the original like the bmw wheels or it's the aftermarket wheels but we have pretty good condition of, of michelin pilot sport 4s's the complete set 19 inches 255 on the back and 225 uh, in the front then the next cool feature that i found is we have some kind of mufflers not the mufflers tips i think it might be yes definitely look at the plate it's probably bmw performance muffler we'll find it out a little bit later oh actually here is what else i noticed i don't know if you can see it yep definitely lower its springs build stands with the shocks so another cool feature about this car michelin tires on this side as well they actually 2018 on the back and 2019 in the front so pretty new here is our damage on the side both doors they store a little bit jammed in here so it's no longer usable quarter panel and rear right door as well side skirt should be good though headlights are good xenon headlights that's good and let's get inside oh this guy had had some fun with this car that's the action camera mount yeah definitely he was doing some kind of video comfort access beautiful let's get inside inside we have black interior with red stitching as we know on us like the sport line and here is the trim for the sport line then harman card cardan sound system that's beautiful aluminum brushed aluminum trim i think it's the bits i think it's the bits uh logo i don't know why it's here but looks cool then cic navigation for 2013 heated seats that's beautiful port line steering wheel sport line different uh like the off of the just regular one is it has the red stitching on it as well in here then uh instrument cluster not the base version but the, with the cool displays in here on the left and on the right that's good here is the mileage yes i know it's a lot 164,000 miles on it but overall the condition of the car is pretty good pretty clean i should say so i'm happy with it and uh then the next cool feature is the black headliner what else we have in here of course automatic transmission we have a couple good one like this one on manual but it's super rare super hard to find it. so this car also has performance kit installed so let's get under the hood and we'll see what we can find actually i don't know if we can see anything as far as bmw performance kit installed but we definitely can see the stickers so here it is m performance power kit installed and also i noticed it has engine cover which is different m performance usually it should say on 335 just a regular twin turbo power or something yes twin turbo power this one is actually the same as we have on m235 maybe the previous owner just bought it and put it on top of the engine from that from 235 because i never seen them before unless bmw dealership offer it like the replacement of the engine cover together with m performance kit installed i don't think so but maybe performance kit installed but nothing nothing aftermarket so stock charge pipe on this side uh stock down pipe on this side stock in the cooler at, at the bottom so i don't see anything any other upgrades as far as aftermarket goodies it's only original stuff that's good that's good so the car is actually run and drive and let me go ahead and start it i also noticed that it has the different sound 
so I'm pretty sure that's the muffler. It's definitely not the stock one. What is that sound coming from? Did you hear that pop pop? Pop pop? Only one. But so far the engine is running some kind of check engine light. I definitely can hear the belt sound. It's squeaking. Yeah, just a misfire. Maybe a spark plug or coils. Definitely, definitely something simple, but it is misfiring a little bit. I'm happy with the car. Uh, let's get it inside and we'll see what else we can find. So far, all stock except of the Bill Steins lowered springs and uh, shocks, which is good. Let's go inside. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, so we got the car inside. But the different one, of course, M Sport package. The reason why, yes, as you might guess, I already took this engine cover, so I'm gonna throw it on this car and this stock one, I don't like it. Let's do this one. So that's the first reason why we got this car in here. And also, and the second reason is we got those lips for M Sport bumpers, F30, F32 and F80 and F82. So I'm gonna throw it in right now. We'll see how it looks like and then we can continue with the other car but first let's do that engine cover so i just throw it in to test it looks good so far i like it this is the stock one and this is the performance stock performance let's swap them and then we can install this one yeah super cool super nice Sheesh. let's see the difference without it and with it let me know how you like it let's go Okay, so lip is in place. That's how it's gonna look like. Mint, mint. And then engine cover on top of it. I like it. Maybe I should replace that engine intake. Maybe we should put just the regular one, the stock one. But if I will put the stock one, I don't think if I will be able to put this carbon fiber strut bar on it. Anyway, F30, M Sport bumpers, F32, M Sport bumpers. F80, F82, we got those slips. If you guys need them, DM us on Instagram, we will get you. That's gonna be done for this car. Let's swap them out and we will start parting out the other sport line. Let's go. We got the car inside and actually we already did the interior yesterday so uh, now we, we put it on the lift and we ready to lift it up and see what exactly means performance package and what was like the performance either it can be exhaust or just a dme tuning i found the paperwork actually let me check it here is what i found in the glove box that's some kind of paperwork uh off of like the BMW performance kit, serial number, key number, BMW performance kit release F, F30. Basically just instruction how to use it, some kind of this thing. I don't know what that means yet, but we'll find it out a little bit later. Uh, so for now, let's just lift the car up and we'll see what we can find from under the car. I'm pretty, uh, like, I already know we got upgraded suspension. Something is wrong with the exhaust. So let's check it out. Okay, so we got the car up on the lift and uh, basically so nothing special in the front except of the build stand suspension in here. That's on the front. We got build stands in the back as well. 
springs and shocks springs and shock from this one and here is the most interesting part of, of the whole car is the bmw performance muffler that's why we got the sticker on the intake and on air intake has bmw performance everything else looks good uh, i don't see a lot of oil on the oil pan there is some some of it but not a big deal they tried to fix it somehow they rewired it yeah <laughs> they're super lazy they they decided not to swap the whole harness because basically if you got any kind of damage in here you're gonna have to swap the whole harness on the engine and that's what they did so all good uh, all good looks good looks clean uh, let's keep going with the car and we'll see if we can find something else So we got to the point when everything is out and uh, we are ready to get the engine out so everything is clear in here clear in here this side is good this side is good as well let's lift the car up okay so here is our engine out stock n55 with a stock catalytic converter with the stock turbocharger with the stock automatic transmission with the stock DME module, with the stock charge pipe, stock AC pump, stock alternator, and stock oil filter housing. Everything in, of course, stock water pump. Everything is stock, everything looks good. Uh, the heart has 164,000 miles, and I think it might be original engine that came from the car, with the car. And as I can see, oil pan gasket needs to, was replaced recently. We don't have a lot of oil in it. And so far, I should say the car was well maintained. Yeah, you can definitely tell no oil from this side even. Super clean. Usually the whole, like the subframe in the baked oil, the alternator in baked oil we have some signs of oil but overall i should say it's well maintained engine so we will see once we open the valve cover we will see how it is inside i hope it's gonna be like silver not uh, goldish color yeah here is the car it's done ready to go to the scrapyard door cars they damaged pretty much everything out some trash inside so and then the next car in line is going to be 2013 BMW 650 which is the V8 twin turbo engine N63 and here is the car deep deep blue color with the white interior it's the F06 which is the Grand Coupe M Sport package it's still dirty we will wash it before we take the car inside before we'll do the video but that is gonna be it for today if you need any parts for for your BMW we just parted out that F30 and you guys more than welcome and yeah here is the our project car can i change it yeah just look at that lip beautiful so the only thing that we're waiting for is the m4 that's coming for parts as well f82 body style because we need a rear muffler the quad exhaust that's we're gonna put on this car and also we're gonna be buying diffuser for the quad exhaust for the m4 exhaust for the m3 exhaust m4 doesn't matter so this is gonna be the end for today and i will see you the next time the next story see you